IPCC chair under fire again, World Economic Forum's dirtiest and cleanest countries, and a new eco-documentary wins an Oscar nomination. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, February 4th. After a series of academic scandals, the UN's IPCC Dr. Agenda Pachuri has been called to resign by members of the international climate community. And those calls may grow louder with more naughty behaviour by the Nobel Prize winning scientist. Pachuri was slammed last month for allowing a faulty scientific reference in an official IPCC report about melting glaciers in order to secure a grant for his New Delhi based Energy Institute. And now the doctor is making headlines for his literary debut, Return to Almora, a salacious tale of a 60-year-old climate scientist who takes a mind-expanding world trip while tumbling into bed with a bevy of willing women. Now here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. The Environmental Performance Index has just come out and evaluates countries on all things green from pollution to water to climate change. Highlights included Iceland, which got the top spot with nearly all of their energy coming from renewable resources. They are tough to beat. Next was Switzerland and Costa Rica. Japan ranked the greenest country in Asia, coming in 20th, and dead last was Sierra Leone. The U.S., however, came in 61st. And while this doesn't reflect the efforts of the Obama administration, it definitely shows us Americans that we've got a long way to go. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, Food Inc., directed by Emmy Award winning filmmaker Robert Kenner, has just been nominated for an Oscar. The documentary examines the hidden environmental and health costs of large-scale U.S. agricultural food production. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.